One of Manitoba's demands to join Canada was to have publicly funded Protestant and Catholic schools. But that all changed in the 1890s when Manitoba stopped funding Catholic schools. And this got everyone off guard. A bunch of laws were then passed in Manitoba and it even spread to the federal level where in 1896 the conservative government fell to the liberal government because of how controversial the stance from the conservative government was on the liberal government. The Manitoba school question first became an issue under the prime ministership of Sir John Abbott, although at that point it was only a Manitoba-wide issue so the federal government didn't need to worry about it. He resigned in 1892 for John Thompson to take his place. John Thompson actually did have to worry about it, but it didn't really matter because he died of a heart attack in 1894, passing it on to Mackenzie Bowell. The fifth prime minister, Mackenzie Bowell, took away funding for every single school in Manitoba, thinking that it would fix the issue. Well, it didn't, and Sir Charles Tupper, his replacement after Mackenzie Bowell resigned in April, Charles Tupper had to pay the price, losing the 1896 election to Sir Wilfrid Laurier. He's actually on the $5 bill today. After a few Supreme Court cases, the, the crisis ended on the 16th of November, 1896, thanks to the Laurier-Greenway Compromise, which, among other things, limited the funding of Catholic schools, officially abolishing them in Manitoba. And they've been abolished in every single Canadian province except for Ontario. Many Catholics were opposed to this compromise in Manitoba and even appealed to Pope Leo XIII. The Pope sent an observer who concluded, like Laurier, that the compromise was one of the fairest ones possible with so few Catholics left in the province. The French-speaking population absolutely hated this because it took away French schools. An alliance called the AECFM officially you know, was created to oppose the Laurier-Greenway Compromise, but that officially disbanded in, 18, in 1968. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.